Hello, welcome to Sac City Property Management Program Review. Let me double click the icon and open up the application which is written in a access database format. And let me center that. There we go. Here's the base screen which gives you an exit, user preferences, and main menu. Uh, clicking on the main menu brings it open. We have going around it clockwise at the very top. We have the data file so you know what file you work on which is a huge benefit. Um, our first section here is contacts which comprises of groups and points of contacts. My building is set up so that all charges to and from are at a group level. All payments made and received are from points of contacts or people. So again, um, for a tenant, I would have a tenancy group and then I would have individual tenants that I receive payments from and apply to the tenancy. Um, addresses, phone number, list for uh, contact sheets. I have a note section where I track all communication between tenants, clients, vendors, etc. I have a uh, pet log where I log all the current pets at the various properties. I have a client contract section for the various clients properties, units, jobs where the details are stored for those. Base tables which is the tables used for within the application itself. Um, a maintenance list for um, planning, scheduling, and tracking all work that is done on the properties, units, jobs. Um, a program hit list where I just write down quick notes of what I want to add and fix to the program. Uh, going over to the tenant side, I have a vacancy list so that way I can process and receive applications. Once I get an acceptable application, uh, the tenant is moved over to a tenant contract. Okay, coming over here at the beginning of the month, I run a rent roll and process all the rents for all the tenant contracts. If I move a tenant in during the midst of the month or if I want to add any fees such as security deposits or late fees, those would be here as a um, side note with, for tenant fees. I then bring in a tenant payment from the individual payments. I can produce a receipt if that is required for the tenant or just log it. I then record the deposit. Going over to the client side, I can record um, expenses which would be material purchases and uh, fees payments to utilities or subcontractors. I have a time management section where I record the time worked on any project. I also have a management fee section here where I process a management fee uh, on all the properties that are managed. From these I can go over and produce a invoice um, which is presented to the client. The client pr uh, pr uh, provides payment and the payment is um, recorded um, or deposited. From there I move over to my uh, report section where I can track any expense by property, owner, unit, job, by vendor, by account. I can track client payments uh, when they buy materials and filter those out of my reports um, which is just an added benefit. Um, I track my rents so I can list when every um, I can find all rent payments by any tenant. I can find it by property. I can find it by owner. And I can do the same thing with a tenant balance which brings in the rent roll and the tenant payments and that way I can get the uh, tenant balance by proper by owner by property by uh, tenancy. I can list all deposits, which can be sorted by account. I can um, do my reports. I can do account balances, and then I can also do client balances as well. So, anyways, that is a quick introduction of my property management application. Thank you.